what's going on? I am Crystal Alexander and welcome to my page. Today we're making taco soup in the slow cooker. Um, not very many ingredients, but the soup in my opinion is made with the toppings that you put on it, which we are gonna go over together. Uh, so we're going to walk through this recipe together. Um, I got like a splinter in my finger. Oh well, anyway. <laughs> We're gonna walk through this recipe together. Um, so if you do hop on live, please say hello. Let me know you're here. And if you catch the replay, please drop the word replay. And if you are looking for more like slow cooker or instant pot type of recipes, not only does the link in my bio go to this recipe specifically, but there's a ton of different slow cooker and soup recipes on there. Um, so have a look around and see what else there are. Um, yay, good, good. Okay, so before we started the video, um, I did a pound of ground beef and a pound of turkey. You can do whatever meat of choice. It's totally up to you. Um, I've done all beef. I've done all turkey. It's just kind of like to switch things up. So that's what we have in here along with a little bit of chopped up onion. And then we're going to take Today I'm using a taco seasoning that I put together, uh, but the recipe has written out with all the spices that you would need as well, but you can use a taco seasoning too. So whatever is easier for you, especially to have this go along a little bit faster. So I'm gonna sprinkle that right on top. And then I am gonna add two cans of diced tomatoes with green chilies. Yes, I love using the slow cooker. It's like my favorite. So we're gonna pour this in. I drained out some of the juice, mostly because I want this to be more chili-like than soup-like. So we're gonna eyeball a little bit of it as well because I don't, I just like it to be a little bit thicker. So we're gonna put this in here. There we go. And then we're gonna add a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. It is 2.30 where I'm at. I'm in Michigan, so Eastern time zone. Tell me where you're at and what time is it where you are? Love to know. Where can I, here we go, half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And then we're gonna add beef broth. So I usually do the whole thing. We might, we might. I'm gonna eyeball it to see, because I don't, like I said, I want it to be a little thicker this time because you can add sour cream, cheese, jalapeno, um, avocado. Uh, the boys like to put like Fritos on top of theirs. So it's all about the toppings. So I want it to be a little thicker. So up to 32 ounces of broth, but let's see what we end up at. Okay. okay. 130 in Texas. Yes. Okay. So let's pour this in. Like I said, we might end up with all of it. It's been a while. So that's the majority. Let's give it a good stir. Let's see where we're at. Okay. Pour a tiny bit. So I would say about 28 ounces. But if you want it more soup-like, just add the whole thing. So there's just a tiny bit left in here. I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see there. Uh, just so that's a little bit thicker, but if you like it thinner, again, you can add the whole thing. And then I have an eight ounce block of cream cheese that I chopped up, and we're gonna put that right on top. And then we're gonna put this on high because it is a little bit later in the day, um, and this will be ready for dinner. So, just like to spread this out. And again, why don't you tell me in the comments your favorite toppings? So do you like to do cheese and sour cream? Jalapeno, do you like it spicy? Tell me your favorites. There we go, perfect. 
So I like to slice up some fresh avocado as well to go on top. Um, and then that's it. So I'm gonna put this on high. 230, I might turn it down to low um, a little bit later after we get back from picking up the kids. So super simple. I did um, two pounds of meat. Today I did a pound of turkey and a pound of ground beef with a little bit of onion in there as well. Two cans of diced tomatoes and green chilies, taco seasoning, half a cup of heavy whipping cream, and then up to 32 ounces of beef broth. It's totally up to you. And then top with your favorite toppings. Um, this recipe fully written out is actually already linked in the description of this video. And I'm going to try uh, commenting it and pinning it to the top of the comments. I'll try that after this video and see if that works. It's also in our group. So if you're not in the group, drop the word group. I'll add you. It has meal plans, shopping lists, uh, cheat sheets. If you're trying to be keto or low carb or reduce your sugar, uh, ton of tons of free like mini cookbooks and meal plans so like i said if you're not in there drop group i can add you um, but otherwise that's it super easy very delicious and you can make it what you want it with your toppings so uh that, look how fast we were <laughs> uh if you do want to be notified when i'm going live simply tap this video right up here in the corner you'll see three dots click those click follow or simply send me a friend request and you'll always be notified when I'm live. And if this recipe sounds delicious to you, go ahead and share this video out. Drop the word shared so that I can thank you. Um, but otherwise, that's it. I will see you guys later. Bye.